Nagoya, Japan is the nation's third largest metropolitan area after Tokyo and Osaka. Located on one of the country's three major plains, this unique city in the middle of the country is not only a worthwhile place to tour, but also a great home base from which you can make easy side trips to popular destinations such as Takayama, Issei, the Kiso Valley, and Kyoto. Nagoya is a place with a rich and turbulent history. Over 400 years ago, it was the birthplace of three of Japan's most important historic figures who would eventually unify the nation during the late 15 and early 1600s, starting in Nagoya. Now, in present day, it has become one of the nation's capitals of industry and commerce, and is the home of many successful Japan-based international businesses, the most notable being the Toyota Company. Here are our top five recommendations in Nagoya. Number five, the SC Maglev and Railway Park. Opened in 2011, this museum introduces the history and future of Japanese trains with an emphasis on the Shinkansen and the Maglev. Visitors can explore many of the retired train cars on display which range from historic steam engines to modern day bullet trains. The museum also has train simulator experiences and is home to one of Japan's largest train dioramas which has miniature trains running through incredibly detailed recreations of Osaka, Nagoya, and Tokyo. The museum is run by the Central Japan Railways Company, or JR Central, who built the country's first Shinkansen line ever constructed. To this day, the Tokaido Shinkansen, which connects Tokyo and Osaka, remains the nation's busiest and most popular long-distance train route. By the late 2020s, JR Central plans to open a new maglev train line between Nagoya and Tokyo that'll cut the travel time between the two cities from 100 minutes down to only 45. Number 4, Hitsumabushi. Like all regions of Japan, Nagoya has its own local specialty cuisine items like tebasaki, misokatsu, miso nikomi, and kishime. But perhaps the most well-known dish is hitsumabushi, which is freshwater eel, or unagi, that is typically grilled, slathered in a rich, dark sauce, and served over rice. Nagoya's take on the dish is served in a traditional wooden bowl accompanied by a plate of condiments and a pot of tea or broth. Diners eat hitsumabushi by splitting the serving of eel into four portions. For the first portion, scoop the eel into the rice bowl and eat it straight in order to savor the flavor of the eel. The second portion, eat with the condiments added. For the third portion, season to taste with the condiments you liked from before, but this time, add the tea or broth. The final portion can be eaten however you like. Starting around 2,000 to 3,000 yen per person, this dish is relatively expensive, but worth the price if you want to experience the best food the region has to offer. Number three, Nagashima Resort. Only a 45-minute bus ride from downtown Nagoya in neighboring Mie Prefecture is one of Japan's most popular vacation locales, Nagashima Resort. The resort has six main attractions. First is Nagashima Spa Land Amusement Park, which is known as Japan's best destination for roller coasters alongside Fuji-Q Highland in Yamanashi Prefecture. Next is the outstanding Yuami no Shima Hot Spring Complex that has, in our opinion, Japan's best man-made outdoor onsen. Then there is the Joyful Water Park with a variety of water slides and swimming pools, the Anpanman Museum for Kids, and the Jazz Dream at Nagashima Outdoor Shopping Mall. Finally, about a 15-minute bus ride away is Nabana no Sato, an expansive flower park with a variety of gardens, a unique Fuji-shaped observation deck, and which also offers seasonal illumination events at night. Number 2, Toyota-related sites. The Toyota Company is one of Japan's largest international companies. Near Nagoya Station, the Toyota Commemorative Museum of Industry and Technology, also called the Toyota Techno Museum, brings visitors through a history of the company and demonstrates many of its automotive technologies. About 45 minutes to the east is the Toyota Automobile Museum, which shows off a large selection of historical cars, both international and domestic. And finally, in nearby Toyota City, next to the company's headquarters is the Toyota Kaikon, where the latest car models are displayed, occasionally there are robot shows, and visitors can take plant tours. Number 1, Nagoya Castle. During the Edo period, Nagoya was the base of one of the three branches of the Tokugawa clan, and therefore one of the richest and most powerful castle towns in the entire nation. As a result, today the castle grounds are expansive and pleasant to explore. Also, although it's a concrete reconstruction, the main keep is quite impressive, and there are plans to rebuild it using all original materials in the 2020s. 
Throughout the year, the castle grounds are a popular place to hold events such as cherry blossom viewings and a summer festival during June, to name a few. But what sets modern day Nagoya Castle apart is its reconstructed palace. Because most palaces around the country have been destroyed and only the keeps preserved, many tourists aren't aware that Japanese castles even had palaces. But in fact, the palace was the most important part of the castle complex and served as the residence, offices, and reception hall for the ruling lord and his family. Using all original materials, Nagoya has painstakingly reconstructed its castle's palace to be as close to the original as possible, so visitors get a similar experience as to what it was like to explore the palace when the Tokugawa walked its halls. Of course, there's much more to see and do in Nagoya, but we hope this top 5 list gives you a good place to start. For more information about any of the places mentioned in this video, or to explore a nearby region, click the links on the screen now, or head over to japanguide.com, your comprehensive up-to-date travel guide firsthand from Japan. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more videos about Japan. Happy travels!